What's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, right here. And I'm back again with another video. I mean, it's been one good week. It's a resting mood. You know, like sometimes after traveling to so many countries, you get so exhausted. Do you guys know that it's actually exhausting to travel? So I'm exhausted, so I decided to take a break. So it's been one week, getting to two weeks, yeah, since I came back to Ghana and I've not been shooting any content. But I just wanted to update you guys on what is happening right now. Um, Trudy is coming to Ghana today and uh, I decided to pick her up. But I woke up in the morning, she tested me that she's no longer coming to Ghana. Um, she missed her flight. But she forgot that I have her PS number, she forgot that I have her brother's number, she forgot that I have their dad's number. So I called all of them because I've been trying to call her phone since morning. Her phone is not going through. And I decided to track the flight. So currently she's trying to play games with me. Oh, I just woke up, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, how can you just wake up? It doesn't make sense. But even if you just woke up, how do you have to wake up at 11.45, which is the time that your flight actually landed? So I don't know, she's playing games with me. I want to pick her up. She said she's not there yet. So I'm on my way to the airport and um, I hope she's there. And I hope she's not trying to prank me or play some games with me. Come with me as I take you to the airport. She's actually calling me. Let me let me pick it up and just listen to what she's actually saying. Hello? Hi. This is so funny. Oh my god. Sleeping? Is this sleeping? I just woke up. Just woke up. Really? Wow. Okay. Because I'm at the airport, so if it's you missed the flight. So sorry about that, Dave. All right. Okay. So I, I, you want me to go back home? Can I go back home then? What? She doesn't even know how to lie because I can hear that this is at the airport. It's a flight number 230 just landed at Kotoka International Airport. Jeez. All right, but I'll still head to the airport. And, um, I don't know, maybe she just want to play some games. So come with me. You know me, I love games, man. So let's play this together. Peace out. I am Maya. I am Maya. I am Maya. I know you from China. You know from China? I really are. I really are. I really are. I really are. I still not forgot my Chinese, man. Hey. <laughs> it's a pleasure, man. Same here, bro. Same here. All right. Okay. You know, I just arrived at the airport and it's going to be Hi, what am I? Hi, what am I? All the time, man. But yeah, I just. I, I need to call it. Oh, hi. hi how, how are you doing? Can you oh. Mask. I don't even have mask, man. I just hope. Hey, again, eh? It's, oh my goodness. Hi, how are you, man? Good, you say you? something to them. Oh, hi. Hello. What is Maya? I am Maya. Oh, oh my goodness, man. man. How are you doing? Oh. It's good to see you. Man. Yeah, it has been a while. Well, it's been a while, eh? Yeah. Welcome home, bro. I'm from Tanzania. But from Tanzania? Yeah, I'm in Ghana for study. Really? Yeah, Kenya what? is still. Can you ST? Yeah. How, how, so how long have you been in Ghana? This is my fifth year. The fifth year in Ghana? Yeah, basically. You love Ghana? I love Ghana. Uh, I'm like a Ghanaian. You're like a Ghanaian yeah. now. You, you speak some Ghanaian language? I eat everything. 
<laughs> every food, every Ghanaian dish I can chop. So what, what is your favorite Ghanaian dish then? Banku and tilapia. Banku and tilapia. <laughs> um, karibu. Kenke. Karibu Ghana. Asante. <laughs> oh, wow. Akwaba. That's really impressive, man. Akwaba. Yeah. Yeah. Ayamaya, how are you, man? Yeah. Oh, Young African Leadership Summit. Yeah. Good to see you, man. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Oh, wow. Good. That Young African Leadership Series Summit. Summit. That was the one that happened recently, right? No, this, we are doing it um, this, just this weekend. Just this weekend? Tomorrow, it's three day summit. Okay. What is it all about? Oh, where are you? It's about uh, the United African Leaders. Yeah, I'm going to make up. We're storming out. Great. Am I am I invited? Yes. <laughs> Accra International Conference Center. I will try and pass through. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. All right, good. Hello. I don't have mask, you know, but um, I forgot to carry mask. But um, where are you now? Yeah, you are inside, right? All right, come on, come on. I'm, I'm here. I'm here right at the airport. I'll see you. That's it. He said he just woke up. I thought he said he just woke up. Yeah? Baby, ruined my plan. I was coming to surprise you. Surprise me. Mm. When, when you want to surprise me, you better tell your entire family that they're coming to surprise me. What happened? Because I called everyone. Who did you call? I called your dad, I called your brother, I called everybody. Yeah, and then they're like, you're not in the house. You see, you can't, you can't be joking with me like that. Uh -huh, that's okay. huh? Oh, that, that was a prank? I was supposed to come and knock the house and then you open and then I surprise you. I'm so sorry. I don't I don't I don't deal with pranks anymore. <laughs> I'm just I'm just tired of pranks. Oh god, you're so funny. So, so they're looking for me. How are you? Oh this guy is picking you up, eh? Hello my because leader. How are you? I'm your leader? You are my leader. How? I can't believe I'm meeting this guy. Ah, come on. I was watching your story the other time. I'm like, this man is an inspiration. Yeah, I'm in the vlog right now. Of course, you're in the vlog right now. Nice you want to say you. something? Because I, I just met him and he told me that there's going to be a summit and I, I, I really want to attend. You have to come. You have to. You have to. <laughs> so you came all the way from Botswana, Botswana for the yeah, summit? for the summit. That's incredible. Yes. And I met this amazing person. <laughs> That I've been doing on YouTube for I don't know how many years now. Wow. And I said I would love to meet Mr. Ghana maybe as well. Yeah, yeah in my country, <laughs> definitely you have to meet me. You're doing a great work. Thank, Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are really amazing. Wow. I appreciate you. You are young, but you are doing uh, quite a lot for the continent. Not just your country, not just your families, but for the entire generation of black, young women and men. That's deep. That's, yeah. That's really deep. You don't deep. understand the impact. But when I watch these things, I'm like, hmm, we need to help these guys. How, how, how do you intend to help us then? Sometimes we're just sharing, sh t telling the world, or sharing your videos. And more than that, sometimes supporting Africa. I remember there's a time you did um, a blog on Ethiopian Air yeah. Airlines. Ethiopian Airlines, yeah. Yeah. That made me to realize that um, I don't have to book anything else besides so Ethiopian. I came with Ethiopian Ethiopia? allies, yeah. See. And I loved the service and I felt like that, um, what do you call it? The new spirit of Africa. That's what we should be about. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because of this, when, yeah. when is the event? The event is on the 25th, 20, 25th, 26th and 27th. 24th. Yeah. 24th, so yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. I'll pass back. I'd love to give. I'd love to give you two guys my books. 
Yes, you autograph write, it. You write what? I'm an author, published okay, author so from Botswana. Book. I have books. No. Yeah. You know what? Um, this is a platform that we support. Uh -huh. Africa is doing great stuff on the uh -huh. continent. I don't know you. I'm meeting you for the first time. Yes, but sir. since you have a book, I believe that you have to tell us so that all the people watching this video can yes. go purchase your book. Yes, and it's sir. by force. It's not even like going to beg them or anything like that. So tell us yes, sir. what's the name of the book and where can they get it? Okay. Um, hello, everyone. In this beautiful channel of uh, Mr. Africa, Mr. Ghana Bay. <laughs> And the beautiful queen right here, Miss Judy. Uh, my name is Lise Homonso, all the way from Botswana. An award-winning youth activist and author. Published three books. Um, the most amazing one that is available on online platforms is called Insights of an X Chromosome an Idealist. It's available right now on, 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 on Amazon.com. So go in there and purchase it. You just see it. My name is Lise Homonso. I believe that Mr. Ghana will write the write name somewhere there. there. And also I have a YouTube channel. Sometimes I share content, mostly podcasts. Okay. It's a small channel, but I would appreciate it if they go in there and sub, so send you us know? a link and I will definitely share so yes, that sir. they will check out the podcast. Yes, sir. What is your final yes, message for Africans? Sorry? The final message for Africans. Um, Africans, we are capable. We have all it takes. We have uh, all the great ideas, especially us, the young Africans. We have to change the narrative. We have to build the Africa that we desire. We are not supposed to be um, crying about how the people ahead of us have failed us but we have to, it's about time we take the initiative to be in control and do the best we can to transform the continent that's what I can say yeah I want to say thank you so much for thank you so me. much and I'll see you tomorrow yes I promise. thank you I'll appreciate that I always keep my promise yeah Yesterday I met her, she landed in the country. I had no idea what was happening today, but she told me that both of you are invited. And here we are today. Yeah. We finally came, yeah? Yes. How many minutes do they have now? Um, like how, how many minutes do we have here? This event is going to last uh, until 8 p.m. 8 right? p.m.? Yes. Okay. But you get it because you're busy people. You can just come for 20 minutes and go continue with your events. I'll give you 30 I mean, minutes. Activities and all that. 30 minutes is okay. Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, All right. It will be worth it. Yeah. It will be worth it because uh, this is a summit that has brought young people from across the continent. Everyone is here. We are here to exchange you know, ideas. We are here to try to talk and converse about matters that affect us, the youth of Africa, okay. and try to find solutions as to what is it that we can do to build Africa that we desire as the youth of Africa, right? I feel like the revolution yeah. is happening, right? Yeah. And I, I wonder how it happened that you are not in the lineup of speakers because you are you are that particular person who advocates for that Africa that we all desire and wish to see. It's, it's just like you know I, I'm I'm a, a big fan of actions mm -hmm. and I always want to see things happen. Yes. You know, so sometimes conferences like this, yeah. I want to make sure that everything we talked about before you come back next year, yeah. something has to happen. Has to That's why you hardly don't see me in places yes. like that. But anyway, I think it's changing. Yes. Yeah. They ruined my pillow. You can't lie to me anymore. Uh, Hi! I watch, I watch everything. I'm you watch every. Husband. Whoa! Seriously? Namibia and all those. I said, wow. I wish I could meet this guy one day. And here we are today. Yes, sir. Are you the wife? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. then be part. Be part. Oh. You want to be part? Okay. Oh, I see. I'm like, this guy is from South Sudan. <laughs> yeah. And keep up the good work. Thank you. I love your work. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Bless Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. All right. It's a pleasure. Uh, I, I, oh, my brother. I saw you and I'm like, this guy is definitely the day you sus. Came, the day you came to you, you were there. <laughs> South Sudan. I was there, my tell, tell, tell them something, man. Uh, You're from South Sudan. I mean, I, I feel like we are uniting Africa in our own way, man, because course, yeah. I just met someone from Tanzania. I'm meeting someone from Botswana. I just met someone from South Sudan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing, man. So, yeah, it's good to see you in Ghana. I thought you were always there. there, there. <laughs> <laughs> I've come for the Young African Leaders Summit. Oh. Taking place in Ghana. Uh, the, so then which means it's by force for me to be there tomorrow you have to i have to what time is it it's 
starting in the morning. In the morning? Yeah, it's starting in the morning. At, okay. Uh, at 10. At 10. So you should be I have flight to catch tomorrow, but I will this definitely go to come. Our, uh, yeah. Oh, nice, man. Nice. Uh, nice to meet you all, yeah? All right, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. So when uh, are you coming back to Juba? I'll come back. Uh, only Nelson tells me to come back. <laughs> Nelson, <laughs> tell me to come back. So you must be happy. You know, yeah, my, he's finally here, man. Kenya, right? Yeah. Good to see you guys. Well, to see I, you. I wanted to speak Swahili, but I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, but so okay, let me let me understand. Can we take a why, why not? But I want I want to ask you a question here. Yeah. Yeah. When you came, the COVID test, how much did you pay? 150. 150 yeah, dollars. 150. Are you happy with that? Oh my goodness, that's too much. I mean, which country can you pay 150? 50. But, the COVID but that's test the procedure. If you at want to arrive at yeah, at arrival, you pay 150 for COVID 19. That's ridiculous, yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. ridiculous. And then you you are made to pay before you come. You come. Then you come with the receipt. So once you come with the receipts, and then that's that goes. Uh, so can we use my? Uh, how much? Uh, I'll, I'll take the photo. Let me finish this. How much did you pay for the COVID test? I paid when I was in Kenya. I paid fifty dollars. And then you came and to then Ghana. I arrived one hundred and fifty dollars. Are you happy that you paid one hundred and fifty dollars? No, I love Ghana so much, but this is disappointing. It's too much. Yeah. Very disappointing. And I don't know why they say that people from West Africa have to pay fifty dollars, and the rest of the world has to pay one hundred and fifty dollars. I think we are all the same. Africa even if you, even if you want to do something like that. Let all Africans pay fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, of course. That's your 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 excellency. I know you watch my videos, yeah, and I definitely have to address this. Um, even if the president did not see this video, let's do this movement. I believe that social media has the power to change so many things, and I am pleading on behalf of all travelers that comes to Ghana that the one fifty dollars is too much, and I think something has to be done. Your Excellency, I mean, if we all can pay $50, I'll be happy with it. You know that a lot of people are coming to Ghana in December. See, 180,000 people flying to Ghana in December and charging each and every one $150. That's a lot of money. I mean, what are we even using the money for? We are not seeing the development. Your Excellency, I plead with you. I'm the true son of the soil. I'm pleading on behalf of everyone coming to Ghana. You are saying that we should come back home. And if you are coming back home, please make it easy for us to come back home. I think before first week of December, I want to hear that news that the COVID test have been reduced to $50 to an entire passenger that is coming to the Republic of Ghana. Thank you so much. And I know my wish will be granted. You guys don't want the same thing to happen? Of course. Thing. How about you that is watching this video? Is that not what you wanted? Share this video, tag the uh, president, tag the tourism board of Ghana, and let's make this happen. Thank you so much for watching. And you want to tell them something? It feels good to be back. Oh, <laughs> but you can't lie to me anymore. You don't even know how to prank, you know. And um, you have a final message for Africans? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, African, we want people. Let's keep united and uh, let's promote our cultures. Thank you. you Thank you so much, good man. You, and good man. to see you, brother. Good to see you. See our guy. Hey, our guy. Family. See, haters don't want you to see that. He's our guy, man. <laughs> Most talented artist in the whole of Ghana, man. Whether they like it or not. Kwame Eugene, all day, man. I'm a big fan of Shata, but you know, you need to give room for what? The young ones, because I believe that Kwame Eugene over everyone, man. You know that Stephen is so mad at Kenya immigration officers. Why? Because anytime we get to Kenya, mm -hmm. they pull him over. Man, I'm so sorry about but, that. But but tell us, how is your experience anytime you come to Ghana? Um, usually it's okay, but today was an exception. Like, what happened? I got there, the immigration lady is like, hi. I said, hi, how are you? Like, I'm good, welcome to Ghana. I thought she even knows me, she's a fan. Then she asked me, so what do you do? You're a YouTuber? I'm like, ah, so you don't know me. Why are you so nice? You know, she was so nice. I said, is it your first time? I said, no, you're coming to see your boyfriend. I said, how did you know? I know these things. I know this. She's just very <laughs> friendly, you know, and she's laughing. She's smiling. You just feel like you've been welcomed at home. It feels so good. And I even told her, I wish all immigration officers were like her. You know, she was so nice. I don't know who she is, but a big shout out to you for representing Ghana in a good way. I mean, that is Ghana for you. We're so hospitable and um, I just hope 
the entire immigration of other African countries will learn from this. Especially Kenya, sorry. I mean, anytime you get to Kenya, it's either they pull you over. Steven said something today that he doesn't know why our green passport always gets us into trouble. <laughs> our green passport has been getting us into trouble everywhere we go hey, to. I'm so sorry. But whenever you come to our country, we welcome everyone with open arms, with the exception of the COVID test. Thank you so much for watching this amazing episode. Don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, be part of this awesome family as we reach a million, million. YouTube oh subscribers. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Wow! <laughs> Bye.